Hey, it's uh, Jonathan here, and welcome to this first lesson of ten lessons. Well, five, 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 ten lessons that will be um, on creating charts from start to finish. First of all, I just want to say that these these lessons are not planned. I mean, they're not scripted. I haven't gone over this beforehand. I'm just creating a track based on what I feel goes at the time. Okay, so that way there's no no sort of cheap things that I'm doing whereas I already know what I plan to do and I just say well I'll do this it's, it's not like that it's basically showing you all the mistakes that I'll be making because there are a lot of mistakes uh, that d do get made sometimes I might end up deleting half a track or whatever but anyway this C series of lessons are based on 10 lessons and first lesson will be on the drums and rhythm pattern, drum pattern, rhythm, um, and also organizing things into categories as well because here we have, um, well, next lesson will be on bass line, third lesson will be on chord progressions, and it will just keep going on and on until we get to lesson 10. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we have a bass drum or a kick. Here, uh, this is basically a template I just quickly whipped up for this um, we have a closed hat and then we have a open hat and another open hat and finally um, just a quick sound, sorry, a quick sound that I've made in Vanguard um, which I'll be using anyway so basically let's start off with the kick you want the four to the floor kick which is basically this right and uh, then you'll be wanting a just straight across on your close hat and on your open hat like this in between every kick um, basically this is a winning formula in trance is like it's, it's basically you hear this every everywhere it's a very common um, it's very common uh, in many trance tracks it's basically the, the standard winning formula and of course you can try all sorts of different things but at the end of the day you will usually end up like this whoops it will look like that um, to start with I mean it's basically that's a winning winning start anyway so yeah you can do this which basically standardizes it even more and you can take off the those open hats and you can even try something different like to add a different kind of feel to the track yeah, I don't like that um, yeah that'll do and um, like this Okay, so basically what we, we've done here is we've created a simple simple pattern here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, but um, instead of doing that, you can just basically hold the right mouse button to delete it all and just hold the left mouse button while dragging across there, so that's a quick way of doing that, um, it's easier, but sometimes you know you just may want to click one and stuff. You might end up doing this by accident, which sucks. Sometimes you have to just delete it off and keep missing. And <laughs> I know I've done that a few times, but anyway. So now we're going to move over to um, the next step which is organizing it's, it's pretty important for example here we have um, some categories we have all unsorted now if I was to click on these these are basically what you have selected so if I was to click on this here which will be basically part of our base section um, I'll show you what it is anyway Um, 
but it's basically going to be under with the base and it will be used for um, an introduction or a quick build up in the beginning of the track that's my idea anyway so what I'm going to do is categorize this into a base section so all you need to do is hold alt make sure it's, you've got your bit selected Oops. hold alt G and just I'll put base in there and hit enter and that's in there's a new section there now you want to delete this unsorted I mean you don't even need that there so you can just right click and delete filter group uh, and then we're going to basically what you want to do next is move over to actually selecting groups of them all you have to do is hold the shift key and you keep left clicking like this so I have um, four selected there and then you just put Alt G and I'm going to put in drums and there you have it we have bass and drum sections and of course you just keep adding to different sections and stuff like that but another interesting thing you can do is color code them when you're um, renaming stuff this is our kick I'm gonna select all our drums as this color here and just hit enter and this is oops bollocks <laughs> okay on my mistake um, click rename again on this this is our close hat so I put C space hat I'm not used to typing with one hand. Hit enter. Uh, this is our open hat. Do it the same with the colour. I'm sorry this is taking so long. And the same with this. This is another open hat. This is number two. And the colour thing again while we're renaming that. And this here, we're going to basically rename this to um, Gated Intro. And we're going to change the colour here to uh, something different, like, uh, like this. That's fucking ugly, that is. Hold on. It's a bit better. Fuck, that was fucking bright. Fucking... Anyway, um, so now we have them in sections and color coded. What you can do as well is quickly change the icons by right clicking set icon. And for example, um, we just select in these. It's up to you. I mean, you don't have to do this, but some people like like to do things like this just to control their flow even better. Um, so that's fair enough. So that's basically the introduction here for organizing things quickly, um, and that's that. It's it's not much to it. So I'm not going to tell you how to create the sounds or use what samples. Or it's not up to me to tell you what to do there. But I'm just showing you the simple process of making a track. So this is lesson one over with, and I hope this just helps you guys somehow and keep tuned well not keep tuned but keep looking out for lesson number two okay so i'll see you later guys see ya